a long-standing and deep rift between Sri Lanka's President Matripala Sri Sene and Prime Minister Ranil Vikramesi, uh, Vikramasinghe is threatening to topple the current ruling coalition in its present form. According to the latest media reports from the island nation, PM Vikramasinghe met at Temple Trees, the PM's official residence, with the parliamentary group of his United National Party and has decided to form a new government under his leadership alone. MPs of both main parties of the ruling coalition are demanding the resignations of the President and the Prime Minister, respectively. A committee has been appointed to address the crisis. Meanwhile, the SLPP under former President Mahindra Rajapakse has have formed have turned up the heat. They want the government to resign immediately. So what will happen to the Sri Lanka Freedom Party faction headed by President Maithripala Sri Sene and to the head of state himself? Well, members of the PM's group have told journalists, quote unquote, that if President Maithripala Sri Sene doesn't like the Prime Minister, he can step down. Other media reports from Sri Lanka indicate that the President has already met with the PM and given his consent to dissolve the existing unity government and for the PM's UNP alone to form a fresh one if he can muster a majority in the House. The President has reportedly also offered the support of some of his own party's MPs to ensure that support. Padma, what is your take on this crisis? Well, there is, uh, you know, this has been uh, brewing for a while uh, because the uh, Prime Minister and the President who belong to two different parties, they are in a grand coalition. Uh, they have been at loggerheads over various issues. Uh, there have been scams, there has been growing external debt, uh, and there has been a growing public pressure on, uh, you know, various issues like unemployment and, and uh, agricultural issues and, you know, certain controversial moves uh, that have been made by the current uh, coalition government. So things were brewing for a while. I think the final nail in the coffin, if one may call it that already, was the um, stupendous victory by Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksa, the opposition leader and former president's new Sri Lanka People's Party, SLPP, which uh, swept the local polls. Now, the local polls are extremely important because they are the equivalent of India's panchayat elections. So whoever sweeps polls like that at the local level, you know, that's a pretty uh, uh, surefire indicator of what's going to happen at national level. So so, uh, Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa and the SLPP are currently going for the jugular and pressing uh, for snap polls to the parliament itself, uh, which uh, they are pretty certain to win, they feel, uh, should those polls be held now. Right. Uh, Padma, you know, also the situation seems to be worsening in the island nation. What are the ramic ramifications of this crisis? Well, the ramifications, uh, you know, will basically be that various things are, that have been held up for a long time, like the issue of uh, greater autonomy to the north and east of Sri Lanka. Uh, people there are uh, predominantly a Tamil, uh, you know, they're the Tamil minority, and they have been waiting for some form of devolution since the end of the 30 years civil war in 2009. Now, that hasn't come. This government, the current government under President Sirisena and Prime Minister Vikramasinghe had promised, that was one of their promises, uh, uh, that they will during their term, uh, you know, address that uh, issue that has been on the back burner for, you know, for 40 years. Uh, but that has not happened. So uh, this is, uh, you know, and, and the SLPP, Mr. Namal Rajapaksa, who is the son of Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa, did speak to Vion in an exclusive interview two days ago, uh, just on the heels of winning that election. And he did say that, you know, their party, if it comes to power uh, a, a, at the center in, in the parliament, is certainly going to come up with, a, with, with an out-of-the-box and far more unique solution to the North and East. Now that remains to be seen because none of these mainstream Sinhalese parties from the South enjoy any modicum of popularity in the North and East, uh, as he himself admitted. So yes, there are challenges ahead. And as for the immediate ramifications, well, there's uncertainty. The stock markets are fluctuating. Uh, otherwise, it's you know business as usual and life goes on in Sri Lanka. But there is certainly a huge amount of political uncertainty, and people are impatient and they want a government that is a strong right. majority government. Right, Padma. I completely agree with you over there. They want a government which is of a strong majority out there. Thank you so much for bringing in that information.